Yo. What's good, y'all, man? We got on Thor um, 4, been linked. Oh, yeah, I saw the link, though, um, yesterday on Twitter, though, man. It came out on Twitter. It was like a, like, actual, like, you know how, you know how movies, they be actually, you know, show everything, but it was like a figure, like a toy figure, and they just show it, you know what I'm saying, on Twitter, and they got linked out and shit, you know, first look. And, um, got Larson, Join Fast 10, got Jurassic World 3 update, and more, so hey, leave a like to my channel, y'all, and, um, yeah, let's get it. Get into the uh, video, y'all. Let's get it. Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on this video. My name is Chris. Finally, we have enough movie news so I can bring you a side flick. Some of the stuff we're gonna be talking about here today is hopefully the last time we have to mention the Will Smith Oscar situation because he recently just got officially banned for. Yeah, he said ten years, man. Ten years. This what happened. I'm like, damn. I got one nigga like that though. Ten, I mean, ten years, yeah, ain't ain't that bad though. And when ten years old, and then he back to the Oscars, you know, type shit. So ain't 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 that bad though. Ain't that bad. For the Oscars, I want to talk about what that'll do to his career. We got some toy leaks and promotional looks of Thor: Love and Thunder, giving us our first real good look at Christian Bale as the villain in this movie. And there's controversial opinions. Brie Larson. I kind of figure that controversial. Kind of figure that it's gonna be somebody negative saying something about the toy. Tell you all the link. Fast and Furious 10, Jurassic World going. Oh, Brie from. Oh, okay crazy with their villain dinosaur that along with so much more so i'm gonna need you guys to give me your opinions okay. down below with everything we discuss here today. got tomorrow join fast and furious 10. yeah i always love hearing everyone's different point of view on the movie news but also don't be forgetting hit that subscribe button man all right so jumping into our first movie news story here today it's been a while since we've talked about a movie that is smaller but deserves a little bit of the spotlight what i discuss in here has it jeffrey dean morgan will battle an evil ventriloquist doll in a horror movie titled felix the movie is looking to star jeffrey dean morgan and benjamin evan Answorth, who you might know from oh, yeah, the know. of bly manor the film is yeah. being described as super eight meets child's play you had me a child's play the full synopsis of the story goes as charlie and his best friend jimmy are making a film and dream of becoming big time oh, they want to be, uh, when charlie's to. father finds an old ventriloquist doll named felix among his late mother's belongings. Charlie and Jimmy cast the doll as the creepy antagonist through a chain of increasingly sinister and disturbing events. The family discovers that Felix has a mind of his own and it's up to Charlie and Jimmy to rid their family of an anonymous force. Mm. Well, I cannot wait for this movie, okay? You guys know I am a big fan of Chucky, okay? I love me the Child's Play franchise, but it's not just because of that amazing killer doll. I'm just a sucker for the subgenre of little murderous doll. I got a kick as a kid watching demonic toys. I'm still holding out for the day that Puppet Master gets a high budget reboot. And yes, when we do get movies like Annabelle, it's hard to categorize those as killer doll movies when when you watch the film, Annabelle really doesn't do anything but turn her head and sit there. Ah, uh, yeah, and then disappear too type shit <laughs> yeah. a horror movie where the doll is full on standing up walking trying to slash some people up just doing something interesting and you know what this sounds like it possibly could be it now they could very likely go the route where the doll is just still the entire movie where it's just sitting there turning its head you look away it's one spot then it's another spot but with them mentioning it's like child's play and that this doll has a mind of its own mm. i'm hoping they go full out with this ventriloquist doll that also like that's just a great premise you're two kids wanting to make a little movie in your house or backyard you find this creepy doll and you're like oh let's make a creepy doll movie except the doll is actually alive so yeah i saw this i heard about it thought it was interesting wanted to bring it to your guys attention you mm. hear about jeffrey d morgan starring in a killer doll movie how do you feel about it moving on from there i mm. know people are sick and tired of talking of the will smith situation and i'm right there with you okay feels like everywhere i turn yeah i ain't gonna lie i'm doing i'm doing this situation i mean i've been done this situation since, since it came out but i be, I be, keep talking about it though i be it's cool to talk about it shit i ain't i don't, I don't bother me though not, not at all though no cap and somebody has an opinion on this situation but it looks now like we've reached the final chapter of this unless there's like a surprising post-credit scene that we're waiting <laughs> <to get. laughs> <Basically> <laughs> i'm dead post-credit 
it was announced on Friday that yeah, the Oscars took a popular decision on the consequences That's for not, Will Smith's I mean, bad, but it is like... That outcome being them deciding mm. that Will Smith will be banned from attending the Oscars for the next 10 years. Now, there is a little bit of confusion of what this means. Will Smith can still star in a movie and get nominated for an Oscar. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, he just can't be in the Oscar. You know what I mean? So that's why I was like... It's bad, but it's not bad type shit. <laughs> but if he does, he's not allowed to yeah, show, up show up and claim his okay. award in person. And look, I really want to bring this up just because I think it's such a fascinating look on what will happen now to Will Smith's career. Because now you think, well, if I can't show up to the Oscars and have my award in person, do my whole speech, do I really want to be making movies that might earn me Oscar recognition? Like he has this movie up and coming where he's said to be playing a slave and that was getting a lot of Oscar attention. I believe that's supposed to be coming out this year and I wonder, you know, if it's as good as his performance as King Richard, will he even be nominated for the Oscars knowing that he can't attend? And you might think, well, that's perfectly fine. Will Smith has had a very diverse career. He's done action movies, comedies, serious films. The man can do it all. Yeah, but we've yeah. heard already so many other studios put their Will Smith movie on hold. We had Bad Boy Yeah, yeah. Boy has now been put on hold. Bad Boy was trying to come out and they put on hold. They're like, y'all out. We're gonna be the video all though, but your ass tripping though. Your ass tripping with him. But I ain't, I ain't, I ain't know they're gonna make another one though. I ain't not, make, I ain't not know they're gonna make another bad boy movie again. I thought the other one was it, and they was like, I bet. But they make another one? But they've been on hold though. Damn. That shit crazy. Old pending this whole Will Smith situation. Yeah. Netflix was having a movie called Fast and Loose that was starring Will Smith that again has been put on. Oh, I, ain't, I ain't hear about that movie. Old. Damn. And even recently they were trying to sell the rights to a Will Smith biopic so you can have a movie about his life and now no one is really wanting to buy those. Damn. Those rights. So the man can't even go out and make a silly fun movie just because everyone wants to distance themselves from him. Personally, I feel like we will see a break from Will Smith stuff for a while, but I have to imagine the man will come back into the movie spotlight in like two or three years. But it will make... I was saying, nah, not three years. Probably this year. But I mean, you just gotta... Just, you know, shit gonna pass over though, so... Like, I say a couple of months, they're going to be like, oh, yeah, it's about the next one. You know what I mean? Like, oh, the next one. Okay. Even though they're going to remember, like, okay, damn, he's like Chris Rock, though. But they they going to forget about that shit, though. I mean, they're going to be like action over. films or comedies. I can't really see him wanting to do some serious stuff. I just think it's insane the repercussions that one slap had on his entire career when there's people in Hollywood that have done far worse and are still getting roles uh, or some sort of recognition. That's so this is I throw it off to you guys. What do you think will be of the career for Will Smith? Can he bounce back from this? Will he bounce back? And if he does, will it be with these action back. comedies or will he just continue making Oscar-like movies? Really curious to hear what you guys think. One movie that's been kind of silent for a while, but I'm sure a lot of us are really anticipating is Jurassic World Dominion. This is essentially the end game for the Jurassic Park franchise, bringing the old and new characters all all into one film and well Empire magazine went ahead and released a couple of photos and information about what we can expect from the film and I just have to read you the description for the main dinosaur villain in this movie because you're like what so if you haven't noticed by now in the Jurassic World series they like to have a main villain dinosaur whether it's a genetically modified dinosaur hybrid like the Indominus Rex in the first movie that I think is still my favorite from this new series then you have the Endoraptor from Fallen Kingdom and now for Jurassic World Dominion it's going to be this dinosaur called the Gigantosaurus which was a real dinosaur in our history that wasn't really genetically combined or hybrided up with a bunch of other dinosaurs mm. and this is what Colin Trevorrow the director of Jurassic oh, World Dominion picture. had to say about choosing this dinosaur to be the main villain I wanted something that felt like the Joker it just wants to watch the world burn Excuse me? I cannot wait now for the performance behind the <laughs> Joker dinosaur in Jurassic Joker World Dino Dominion. That's crazy. So my father was a dinosaur. A hungry one. He was eating up all the raptors in town. Why so scaly? I think that is like the most interesting description I'm dead that you on could that have shit. given to this dinosaur that it wants to watch the world burn but who knows maybe when we watch the movie we'll actually understand what he means i have to imagine that it's just a dinosaur that maybe doesn't necessarily kill for food but that just does things out of pure joy and chaos that's one thing that has been lacking for me in the jurassic world dominion franchise is there just really hasn't been enough bodies dropping or just 
dinosaur carnage on humans which maybe i understand it feels like it's leaning a little bit more towards the family friendly aspect but i kind of miss when jurassic world wasn't afraid to just straight up take down some people but you guys hear about this description for the jurassic world dinosaurs how do you feel about it and what do you think a joker dinosaur could mean moving on here we have an update on the fast and furious franchise everyone knows vin diesel is gearing up for the final two fast and furious movies and over the past couple of months he's been announcing some of the newer cast members attached to the film we have jason momoa who's said to be playing the villain of the movie they also went ahead and added daniela melanquire they got an all-star lineup then <laughs> they got an all-star lineup Damn. Played Ratcatcher 2 in the Suicide Squad. And now here, another member of the Familia, Vin Diesel, announced Brie Larson has joined Fast and Furious 10. He took to his Instagram to make this announcement, saying exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that Captain Marvel. <laughs> See, the angel over my shoulder. Nah, that's, that's good. Though, that's you say to yourself, this Captain Marvel. Clearly, there is a love and laughter in this image. What you don't see, however, is the character you will be introduced to in Fast 10. You have no idea how timeless and amazing she will be in our mythology. Beyond your beauty, her intellect, her Oscar. Haha, -ha, this is profound soul who will add something you might not have expected, but yearned for. Welcome to the family, Brie. And look a couple of things. <laughs> Here, I never really thought I would see someone like Brie Larson joining the Fast. Yeah, that's what I said. Same shit. <laughs> Same shit, man. Furious franchise. I know there's a whole weird subsection of movie YouTube that have like this hate boner for Brie Larson. I am not in that group. Before Brie Larson was Captain Marvel and she got all that unwanted attention, I was already loving Brie Larson and her performances, specifically her role in The Room. That movie really showed me what she was capable of, and as Captain Marvel, I like her just fine. I wish yeah, I like, the movie yeah, itself like and maybe some of the story points could be better, but I still very much respect this actress, and so it's just kind of funny that she went ahead and joined Fast and Furious, and I wonder exactly what role she could play. Like, my mind goes straight to, like, the sister, of Charlie's Theron, but maybe she'll be good? Since these movies always have to deal with, like, surprising relative twist and family. She must be someone important, because even in this description Vin Diesel made, saying that she's gonna rich in their mythology, which... It's hard to think Fast and Furious has a mythology. Look, at the end of it, it's never wrong to add talent to your franchise, and Brie Larson is definitely a talent to be added. I'm just hoping that these two mm -hmm. movies really go ahead and end this franchise on a high note without getting too ridiculous, because... Fast 9 was the first Fast and Furious movie in like a long time that I just didn't enjoy that much. But I throw it off to you guys. You hear Brie Larson has officially joined Fast and Furious 10. How does that make you feel? And any thoughts and theories to who she could be playing? Bringing it here to Thor Love and Thunder, we have recently gotten some toy leaks that went ahead and showed us our first look to something a lot of us have been wondering. What is Christian Bale going to be looking like as Gore the God Butcher and uh... These toys ain't that pretty. So one, these are Marvel Legends figures. <laughs> he said these toys ain't these ain't pretty. You don't know nah. about Marvel Legends. These toys ain't that pretty. So one, these are Marvel <laughs> Legends dead. figures, and if you don't know about Marvel Legends, they like to be as accurate as possible to what is going to be depicted in the movie. So over here, we have Valkyrie that's being titled King Valkyrie, since she is now the King of Asgard. I love yeah, that. Yeah. Along with her black and white suit, that looks really clean. Star-Lord, aka Mario, looks just as you would expect. Up here, then, we have Groot, who is still a teenager. Boy, Marvel, when are you going to turn Groot into an adult? And oh, yeah, then Jane yeah. Foster, Natalie Portman's character, titled Mighty Thor. Her costume also looking pretty good. And then before we get to the Christian Bale figure, we have here two Chris Hemsworth figures as Thor. One Mark Ravenger Thor, which if you don't remember, that's kind of like the Guardian group, and he does have that red jacket, so I guess he just becomes an honorary Ravenger. I like how some people saying this looks like it would be a WWE toy, which yeah, definitely does, but moving over here to <laughs> Thor's new suit for this movie, nah. I, I, it's still something I'm gonna have to get used to, man. That's a lot of gold, and that's a bold helmet maybe it'll actually look really good once the visual effects are put in place and it's in motion doing whatever it does but i gotta admit like I, this is gonna be a look i'm really gonna have to get used to and so will fans of gore the god butcher because right here this toy is not really doing my boy christian bale any favors it really just looks like voldemort if he had plastic surgery and finally got a nose luckily though after some time people went ahead and found pictures of the side of the oh, box yeah, so we can 
see exactly what it'll look like in the movie and it does look better than what the toy was presenting us with i actually don't mind this look at all i like some of these like scars they have running down his face you could definitely see christian bale's features in this character but there's still a handful of marvel fans that are kind of disappointed with this look as it just doesn't really resemble gore from the comics when he has like this sort of flat inhuman like nose but then they would have really had to have cgi'd his face and that effect would have been so noticeable to me throughout the whole movie so i actually don't mind this and christian bale can give out a good performance just using his natural face but really at the end of it i just want a damn trailer for this movie like right now i think it's broken the record of a marvel film that hasn't gotten a trailer but that is close to release this movie is like three months away and we haven't seen anything. yeah we haven't seen that in perspective for you the first time we got a thor ragnarok trailer was eight months before the movie was coming out i have to assume marvel's just focusing on multiverse of madness and once the weekend hits that that movie's coming out that's when they'll release the thor trailer but you that's guys what i said too that's what, I said. Thunder. what do you make of it do you like the look can you live with it or are you just gonna wait to see it in the trailer or in the actual movie but that is all the movie news we currently have going on right now guys i want to thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch me talk some movies don't forget to hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already follow me on my other social medias on tiktok at 3c films or on twitter at 3c films but as always i'm chris take care yeah that's about it too it, they just waiting for Mar mars man to come out after that and then you know what i'm saying then thor come out so but some people said next week we see though we see man we see but anyway like it up sub y'all and um yeah like sub and um yeah peace